Hi everyone and welcome to another one of our beautiful property tours. Uh, today we're in what better location than the area of Alcanasa, which for those of you who aren't familiar with Alcanasa, is I would say probably one of the most sought after areas along the west coast of Mallorca. I'll tell you a little bit more about what makes Alcanasa so special later, but first I'm sure you're all dying to see what beautiful, charming house lays before me. So let's get started. Welcome to Cambleda. So Cambleda sits on a plot of about 12,000 square meters, which includes this fantastic green lawn area, which you might be thinking, how can a house have so much green uh, in Mallorca when there's a lot of sun, there's not so much rain? Well, this house actually uh, is very unique in that it has access to its own water. So the owners have said that they've never actually even had to order any extra water because they've always had enough for, for what they've got. So that's a fantastic privilege to have uh, with your house in Mallorca, believe me. So anyway, enough about the beautiful lawn. Um, I'm going to take you to the pool area, which is a chlorine pool. It's about uh, 50 square meters, which is the maximum size pool you can have in Mallorca. The pool's surrounded by this lovely terrace. You've got a little area over here which you can enjoy uh, watching the sunset from the pool area. So the sun you can see set directly into the sea from yeah, pretty much over the summertime. So for many months over the summer, you have the sun setting directly into the sea. For the winter months, it can you just miss it. It heads just behind the trees, but in any case, it just makes for a, a spectacular setting. I'd love to show you the orange grove, um, which they have, which is a fantastic little spot. Again, they have all the water they need so they can uh, cultivate these beautiful oranges. So here we have your very own morning orange orchid that you can come and get your oranges from uh, your very own orchid in the morning and give to your guests. It's fantastic. Um, Fantastic thing to be able to have. If you have too many oranges that you know what to do with, you can always charm your neighbors and give them a few oranges. So it's a fantastic thing to have on your property. And also there's plenty space to cultivate even more if you ever wanted to plant some more trees and have your own uh, little kind of huerto going on here. So enough about the orange orchid, let's go have a look at the other terrace areas. This is actually a really beautiful view of the house from, from down here. It's got so many little different terraces that you can enjoy at different times of the day, different times of the year, depending where the sun hits. It's, it's a fantastic spot. So here we are back at the lawn beautiful lawn. Uh, you have this area over here which is a little area that kind of leads from the guest house um, and again is well positioned if you are in the mood for a bit of a sunset dinner because from here and most months during the summer you can just get the sun setting right in front of you. So now I'm going to take you on to towards the main house. Before we go inside the main house though, I want to show you this little area again, another fantastic space to enjoy um, different times of the year. This, this little area here doesn't get the sunset for so many um, months in the year. So it's quite good actually, because sometimes it can get so hot in the summer that you don't actually want the sun on you uh, throughout, the, throughout the evening. So this is a really fantastic spot. I love this little barbecue area over here. Fantastic spot in the shade. You've got your friends having dinner over here or down on the lower pergola area over there. It's a really fantastic spot. And then if you're in the mood for a pizza or roast suckling pig, whatever you're into, you have this fantastic old 
uh, pizza oven, which if you don't want to use pizzas, you can throw your kids in there if they've been naughty. Great room for that. <laughs> now let's go have a look inside the main house. Here we are, this is kind of like the reception area, it's the first space that you enter if you're entering from that area over there because there is different entrance and you're immediately welcomed by I mean tons of character or features I mean this house is 400 years old and a lot of features here like for example the beams this old Mallorquin chimney the doors I mean they've all been here since day one and you can really tell and it just adds so much character to the house I will add before we kind of continue with the tour that I think for a lot of people you probably want this as a renovation project. I think it has so much potential to just kind of give the house a little bit of a rejig, a redistribution um, to really kind of yeah, take advantage of the space but also keep all of these original features and make it feel like it's been here again for another 400 years. So here we are in the kitchen area. It's a really beautiful Mallorquin old kitchen. You've got a lot of the original features, like for example, the old sink. And yeah, again, I mean, it still has tons of potential. I think there's so much, as I said, space for renewal, uh, but also just making it feel like it's, it's always been here. We know some fantastic architects who can help you with that whole process. Um, it's just a case of coming, seeing it. If you love it, then you can look at the possibilities. So there's another room through here, a bedroom, which I'll allow you guys to go have a peek in. It also has a pantry and a bathroom. So now I'm gonna take you upstairs. This is actually a really fantastic space to enjoy in the winter. It's like a real traditional Mallorquin um, yeah, way of life, basically, to all kind of huddle around the fire and that's where people would, would keep warm. And now I'm taking you to my favorite part of the house. This, I was so surprised when I first saw this room uh, it's just incredible you've got ridiculously high ceilings really beautiful large uh, doors and windows which just allow so much light to come in and it's just really i don't know i find it really atmospheric i guess um, and it's got tons of potential so as you can see at the moment it's currently like a living room with a beautiful fireplace slash bedroom so this is kind of like one of the bedrooms um, the owners actually currently use it as their kind of master bedroom. It leads on to a beautiful terrace as well, which I'll show you shortly. Um, I don't know, I think, again, this comes back to the conversation about if you'd be open to having doing a complete rejig. I'm no architect, but I guess if it was my house, I would, you know, just have this whole space as like living, living space. And this would probably be the main space that you spend with, with your family. You could even have like open plan kitchen with an island there, you know, onto the living room. It's definitely big enough. Um, yeah, it just depends how you live, how you want to live and how you can imagine up this, this space. And if you're a little bit worried about losing a bedroom, which I can understand, um, there's another space outside of the house which is currently a garage, which I'll show you shortly. And that is, yeah, that could be another guest uh, house, could be a, a, an ensuite bedroom for guests. So anyway, tons of potential. This living space is actually even big enough if you wanted to create a wall here and just have this as a, as a, as a bedroom, master bedroom with, uh, that leads onto the terrace. So tons of potential. It just depends how you live as a family. So welcome to the terrace, which is not really dressed. There's no table, there's no chairs, there's no uh, relaxing space, but again, tons of potential. It's beautiful stone wall. And yeah, it's a fantastic space to enjoy throughout the day. Yeah. 
So there's another bedroom, which is just behind this door and it also has a bathroom. So I will let you guys go have a little peek through there. <laughs> But before we show you the garage, I thought I would show you the kind of front door of the house, I guess you could say. So this is the facade of the house that you will see from the street, which is the little lane that goes uh, through Alcanassa and down eventually to the sea, which I will show you again later. So this is, the, this is the facade, which again has lots of charm. You've got a little gate over here to the left, which takes you into the terrace barbecue area, which obviously eventually leads onto the garden. And then you have this entrance over here, which is the car entrance, which gives you plenty space for parking down the, the end of this little lane. And here we are at the garage. So this is a garage that I was telling you about, which again, is a fantastic space, I think, to make as a guest house. You've already got a window in there. You've already actually got a little porch area, which is where they currently keep the wood. Um, but again, you could have as a, as a little outside space. It's actually a really big space to have as a guest room with tons of potential to create something magical. So I just showed you the garage and I was about to close off the video and then I realized I'd forgotten to show you the guest house. So I'm going to take you guys on a little peek through. So here we are. We have a great space here. It's got an ensuite and as you can see a mezzanine level which has tons of light and again, tons of potential. You've got the original tile floor here. It's got an ensuite bathroom, a window that leads onto the pergola terrace, which is fantastic. And again, allows beautiful light to come through. So that concludes our tour of Cambleda for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I said before, Alcanasa is a fantastic uh, location. And for those of you who don't know it, it's located pretty much, I would say, about 15 minute drive from both Dea and Soya. So you're pretty much banging in the middle. The thing that makes it so special is the fact that you can walk down to the sea, particularly from this house. It's about a five minute walk down to the Alcanasa Cove, which is a beautiful cove, incredible for snorkeling. Uh, or just spending an afternoon watching the sunset from the, from the Alcanasa Cove. And because it's actually quite difficult to get to by car, it means that it's very peaceful, very quiet. Not many people go there. So it's a fantastic spot to have at just five minutes from your home. Please come see the house in person. I think you will love it even more in person. It's so peaceful here. Um, and with that, I am gonna say goodbye for now. Bye-bye.